Well, good morning. I am Royal. It is uh, sunrise and a little bit chilly out here, but it's cool. It's February, and I'm in my backyard in Hearst, Texas, and I'm here to do my morning devotional. And uh, this week, uh, today is Valentine's Day. It's February the 14th, and uh, I'm focusing on love this week. And I, I explained yesterday that the reason I got out of the counseling practice and became a pastor because I really believed that it was so important to have the support of the church when people's lives are trying to be changed. And, and I saw myself as a counselor teaching people instead of a person. So. Uh, I'm working on that today, this week, and talking about the importance of the church. And uh, you know that today's not about loving your spouse and all that, although that's a part of it. But today's more about unity uh, as a church. I mean, the the awesomeness of being part of a family who has the same mission and, and the same spirit and the same ideas. And anyway, let me just open us up with the Lord's Prayer. Father God, we uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, being our Father. And Lord, um, we want to keep your name above every other name today, serve you above everything else. And would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Father, would you forgive us for our sins? And uh, would you point out the sins in our life we need to be forgiven for? And uh, Lord, uh, may we forgive those who hurt us instantly so we're better and not bitter. And Lord, would you protect us from the temptations and the negative influences in our life? And, uh, and Lord, today we're going to give you glory for every single thing that happens, everything that happens in our life, because we know you want what's best for us, good or bad. In Jesus' name, amen. So the passage, the verse I'm looking at today is 1 Corinthians 12, 13. And, and you know, a lot of people don't grow up with very strong families. And even if you have a strong family, the... God, the Spirit, and having unity, and, and and realizing that you know we're all we're all different people. We're all different people. And um, when you grow up in a home family, there's a certain culture that you have there that makes you kind of all the same. But uh, when the church is pulled together, it's people from all makes and models and colors and and cultures and backgrounds and good backgrounds and bad backgrounds and hard lives and good lives and rich and poor and all that and, and God's desire and what makes the church work is that God gives us spirit it gives us unity through his spirit and he gives us unity through his love and for his purpose so what, listen to this verse 1 Corinthians 12 13 some of us are Jews, some of us are Gentiles, some of us are slaves, and some are free. But we have all been baptized into the body of one spirit, and we all share in the same spirit. Isn't that awesome? I love it when I go to a family reunion or when I see family that I hadn't seen in a long time and you just feel like you just pick right back up and there's that unity of family. And that kind of loving support in the spirit is what makes it to where you can understand God's love better. As I talked about yesterday, it's that love we have for each other that actually makes us see God's uh, essence his love for us and our love for each other and the kind of love that we will use to change other people by sharing with them God's love through us. Uh, here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, we are family. Thanks to Jesus, we are all baptized into your family, no matter our race, job, background, political affiliation, or anything else that makes us different. Through your spirit, we are family. You have, we have your love and we have your mission. Love and unity is what grows the family. That's what people are attracted to. People aren't attracted to churches being split and arguing with each other and all being mad at each other about different things. The, the early church grew because the, the people saw that together the church was better than they were the people than when they were apart. Man, I would love to uh, read your replies and, com and comments and reply to them. And um, I hope this encourages you. 
Uh, if you're not part of a church, a loving church, uh, a Bible teaching church, I, uh, I pastor Life Connection Church in North Euless of the Mid Cities, just right off of, just right off of Highway 360 in North Euless, and uh, we would love to have you. We are not perfect people by any means, but we try. We try to be who God wants us to be, and in loving God, loving people is the center of that. So, ah, I hope that encourages you. And uh, just the cool helps keep me awake. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I will see you tomorrow. The good Lord will, and in the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, change the world, and it starts with you.